Jiggy cat on a damn fella spree. This is not good, so and you can't mimic my energy. 100 round drum and be hanging like a centipede. Hello, everyone. This is Nagato's Adventure. Hope you guys are having an awesome day for today. In today's video slash showcase, I'm going to be showing you guys on how to patch Hatsune Miku Project Diva Extend into English. And as many of you guys know, if you're a fan of Hatsune Miku or a fan of the PSP, um, this game was only released in Japan, so there is only a Japanese version out. Luckily, there has been um devs back in the day that basically patched this game into English. So that's what I'm going to be teaching you guys on today on how to do this, either for your PlayStation Portable or your Vita. So with that being stated out the way as well, if you guys can please be sure to follow my latest social media so you never forget the latest hacking guides and tutorials on my channel. My goal is to try to update every single day on my YouTube. So the best way on how to know when I drop my latest content is by being subscribed, hitting that notification button, and as well following my Twitter because that's where I usually update the community when I drop my latest hacking guides and tutorials for a multitude of systems. With that being stated as well, um, if you guys do want to join my official discord and be in the mix of my community you can either join via in the link in the description below or as showcased in the screen right here you can just type in a link via on your web browser but not only you can meet new people from the hacking and modding scene you can also get you know help and support for your certain topics that you may need help with whether it be for the vita the psp ps4 or ps3 in terms of modding and as well you will get the latest um hacking guides and tutorials in the discord and also you will have download links that you can check out via in my channels on discord so i do recommend to go ahead and join my discord if you want to be in the mix of things but all that um fun stuff getting out the way as well um if you do want to support my channel in any shape or form you can feel free to donate via my paypal any of the money that i may receive will go straight back into my channel it will help me buy things such as a better microphone camera you know anything in terms of software editing tools and it will just help me grow as a channel and it will be you know better for you guys and for me as well so i could produce the best content for you guys to watch with all that um stuff getting out the way we could go ahead and get started on today's uh, prerequisites for the vita and we're going to go ahead and get started on you know talking about the things and you know some useful tips as well any of the items i state will be in the download description below but with that being stated first the thing you will need is a modded playstation vita or a pstv via using the Hankaku, Eichan Core, or the Trinity hack. Either your system needs to be on 3.60 or 3.72 firmware, because now um, on the latest firmware, you can use Eichan Core 2 to hack your system. If you guys don't know how to hack your system on the latest firmware, as of August 28th, 2019, I will basically have a card in the description below and also showcased right now on how to hack on that latest firmware. With that being stated as well, you still need to have the latest version of Vita Shell for this process. You also need the latest version of adrenaline of course you will need Hatsune Miku Project Diva Extend the ISO game so you'll need either a ISO copy or the original uh, UMD copy if you're using a PSP um, and it has to be of course the Japanese version you'll also need the Project Diva Extend uh, beta patch files and you'll also need files of the FTP client or a USB cable to transfer your files some things I do want to state um before I'm um, doing this is for the PlayStation uh, Vita side of things. So if you don't already have a, a SEE plugins folder in PSP MU, you basically would have to make one and I'll show you guys on how to do that. In this video, we're also going to be making a file called game.txt. And if you guys ever modded a PSP, um, the game.txt is basically where you load your plugins from. So in the PSP emulation, so it's kind of like the tie folder for, um, you know, uh, the PS Vita side of things, but I'll show you guys on how to do that. The game TXT is basically for us to enable the English patch since it's a plugin and as well some other useful tips and information. This is where we're gonna basically put the English patch folder into this directory and I showcase that on the screen right here. So if you guys were you were wondering on how to do this or you just need a visual, I showcase that there. So we're putting it in UX0, AKA our memory card, PSP MU, SE plugins, and also the Diva patch folder. And I'll get into all of the nitty gritty and you know showcase this in the video. I just wanted to you know show some steps in the prerequisites so you'll kind of have a visualization of what we're doing and as well here is what the plugins will look like once we get started on the pc side of things for this tutorial but um with that being stated as well i just want to give a special thanks out to code station for making this patch and anybody who helped them with that in terms of development but don't forget if you need any help you could join my discord and with that being stated we could go ahead and get started on the pc side of things for this tutorial Thank you. 
Alrighty guys, assuming that you did follow all the prerequisites as stated in the intro, we could go ahead and get started on today's video. So assuming that you already have Vita Shell already installed and also Adrenaline, I'm going to go ahead on with the process. But if you don't have um, Adrenaline installed um, for this video, I will have a card right now on how to showcase on basically on how to install games and also Adrenaline on your modded PlayStation Vita. But whether um, you're using any type of exploit, whether it be the H on Core, Hankaku, Hankaku Enzo, or the H on Core 2, we're going to go ahead and get started with this process, assuming that you already got your Vita exploited. What we need to do now is go ahead into Vita Shell. I will have a download for that in the link in the description below. We need to go into UX0 or not. Not even into UX0 excuse me we just need to go ahead and verify um some things so what we need to do is go into UX0 and just scroll all the way down go into PSP emu go into ISO and if you don't have this ISO folder go ahead and just make one in Vita show all you would have to do is hit triangle hit new create a new folder and then rename this uh, folder ISO in all caps and this is where we're going to be um, dumping our Vita games, or excuse me, not Vita, but our PSP games in here. As showcased here, I have already some of my PSP games in this folder. And this is where um, the file location we're going to be putting Hatsune Miku into. So that's one thing we needed to verify before this process. As well, if you don't have a SE plugins um, folder, go ahead and make one just by hitting triangle on your PlayStation Vita. Scrolling all the way down to um, create a new folder. So hit new new folder and just write SCE plugins just like this and then all you would have to do is hit uh, enter for that and then you will have that folder showcased into Vita Show. Once you have your ISO folder and your SE plugins into PSP emu under your UX0 um, you know partition what we're going to do is go ahead and transfer over to the PC and get our game installed as well as to get the patch installed via from the PC side of things so I'll meet you guys on the PC. Alrighty guys, so since we're out of the PlayStation Vita, what we need to do is go ahead and basically go focus on the PC side of the files. So of course, I have Hatsune Miku Project Diva Extend in an ISO format, so I have my game in ISO or basically in an ISO. I also have the Beta Extend Diva Patch folder, and as well, I have a game.txt file. You may not have a game.txt file in its zip, so what we're going to do is go ahead and make one. So what we're going to do now is go just make a regular txt folder on our pc on the way on how to do that is just right click go to new and then all you would need to do is hit on a text document and then that's how you could create a txt file all you would have to do is just rename it to game by right clicking and then all in lowercase let me go ahead and type it in just name it game and that's it and that's how you basically make a game txt file but what we need to do is go ahead I'm just going to cancel this out. But what we need to do once you have a game TXT file formatted onto your PC, we need to go ahead and create um this file string for the plugins. You don't got to focus on this one. This is just a older plugin I had on my PlayStation uh, Vita for this process. But if you're doing this for the PSP or the Vita, you really uh you need to have this written down and I'll have this in the um download description below on the plugin. So instead of just typing all of this out, you can just copy and paste. But your plugin has to be for excuse me, formatted like this. So you will have it under MS0, um semicolon slash SEM plugins slash diva patch slash diva patch dot prx1. This is the plugin that is gonna enable the patch to translate the game into Japanese into English. Once you have your game.txt formatted, all you would have to do is hit save and then make sure your game.txt has this file in here. And we're gonna check via on um, file or excuse me, once we get into FileZilla and transfer this folder over, we're gonna go check back in Vita Show to verify that our plugins are turned on from there. I will also, um to even make it easier for you guys, I'll just have the game.txt in a download just like this. So instead of even typing it, or if you guys wanna do it manually, I will have the game.txt in a separate folder right here but showcased here we're going to be focusing on this diva patch so here is the diva patch itself all you would have to do um if you want to read about the readme it tells you about the changes and also um some of the um things that the developers have changed in terms of the um 
this whole build of the patch itself so as showcased here i just explained on what to do for the directory of the patch and how to make the game.txt so it has it in its readme as well and here is the um actual diva patch which has the translation that bin it also has the embedded images and it also has all of its contents in terms of all of the um english patch stuff in the game so it will showcase so i showcased here um, you can see that the, all of the contents are now in English from this part of the side of things of the patch. But what we're going to do is go ahead and successfully install our patch. So what I'm going to do now is drag out Diva patch from here. Since that is not needed, we're going to exit out this folder. And the only two things we're going to be um, transferring over. I'm going to delete this off my PC. We're going to be transferring over our game. We're going to also be transferred over Divi patch and also game.txt. So let's go back onto our PlayStation Vitas, turn on files of the FTP client, or if you're going to be doing this with a USB method, um, which I do recommend since it takes a while for it to do, we're going to be doing that. So I'll meet you guys back onto the PlayStation Vita. All right, guys, so assuming that you're still in Vita Shell, what we need to do now, I'm just going to head back out so you can see all of my directories. What we're going to do is go ahead and connect our PlayStation Vita to our PC. So I'm going to be using FileZilla FTP client for this as well. You can just do this with a USB cable and a charging uh, cable for your Vita. Plug it into your PC and transfer files that way, which is way much faster. And it speeds up the process. But since I'm streaming my Vita to the screen right here, I can't do that. So that's why I'm using FileZilla FTP client. But the way on how to transfer your files, let's just hit start on your Vita then scroll all the way down where it says select button so if you're using the usb method on to transfer files via with vita shell make sure you have your usb cable connected to your pc and your vita and make sure this is toggled by either hitting left and right on your d-pad so but since i'm doing ftp client and if you want to follow along with fazilla this is what we're going to be doing for today just make sure it's toggled over to ftp and now you can just hit circle out of your vita make sure your wi-fi is on of course so your um wi-fi can or basically your ip can be shown on the screen and all you would have to do to get that working is just hit select on your Vita and now your FTB server will show your IP and also the PlayStation Vita port and now all we need to do is just leave our Vita on standby go to our PC and get these files transferred over successfully Alrighty guys, so we're back onto the um, PC. What we need to do is open up files of the FTP client. If you guys have been watching my videos before or have watched anybody's um you know videos in terms of modding the Vita, you're probably familiar with files of the FTP client. If you don't know what this is, it's just a FTP protocol exe program that allows you to transfer files over um, FTP via with a IP connection or basically a wireless connection. So what we're gonna do now is just type in our Vita's IP. Yours will be different than mine's if I could even type today. And then all for the port, we're just gonna do one through three seven. That's always the same irregardless of, you know, the Vita, it always will be one three three seven. But if you did everything right, um, it should automatically connect. Let me just make it widescreen. And now you should see all your directories. So the directories we're gonna be focusing on today is UX0. We're gonna go scroll all the way down into PSP MU. And now, since we already created our SE plugins file and ISO, all we gotta do is just go into our ISOs folder, dump our Hatsune Miku game or Project Diva that's unpatched. So this is the original Japanese version. Get that fully successfully installed. So that's doing its thing. What we're gonna do now is go back into SE plugins. And this is already transferred over Diva patch, but I'm just showing you again where to go. We're going to take our game.txt Diva patch and just drag it into SE plugins. I'm just going to overwrite my stuff. You're not going to get this unless you already have this patch installed onto your PC. But what I'm going to do now, as showcased here, um, all of my files are successfully transferring over. So it's going to take a little time for all of this to do it. Of course, that's why I recommended it doing it with a USB cable so it's faster. But just for the time being, I'm going to be doing this uh, with files of the FTP client. Once that is all um, done and finished, I'll be back to showcase on the next steps on what we need to do for the PlayStation Vita. Alrighty guys, so I showcase here all of my files successfully transferred over. What I'm going to do now is just go ahead and broadcast my PlayStation Vita on the screen. And now we're going to get Hatsune Miku all set up within Adrenaline. So I'll meet you guys for that process. Alrighty guys, so we're back onto the PlayStation Vita. We got all of our files successfully transferred over. What I'm going to do now is just cancel out of Vita Shell itself. Now what we need to do is just go into UX0, scroll all the way down to PSP Emu, and we just need to verify some things. First things first, we're going to see if our ISO is here. So we have our Hatsune Miku uh, Project Devo 
uh, Diva ISO in here. Now we have our SE plugins. We need to verify Diva patches here. Just check if you see all of the files that we were talking about on the um, PC. So you found basically all of that stuff. What we need to go ahead and verify as well is um, in SE plugins, go back into that and go into the game.txt. Make sure that you have um, this labeled as this. So as we stated on the PC, just go ahead and make a game.txt. Make sure you have it written out as this. You can ignore the first line I'm covering right now where it says CW cheat. Just focus on MS0 SE plugins diva pets that um, PRX. Of course, I'll just have the game.txt so you won't even have to worry about that. All you would just do is just transfer and drag your file. But once we have all of our files right here, we are good to go and we can exit out of Vita show successfully. And now we're going to run adrenaline. So assuming that you already have adrenaline already installed, I'm just going to boot into it like any normal program. And then once adrenaline gets fully boot up onto the screen, we're going to go ahead and run Hatsune Miku. So I'm just waiting for it to do its thing. Then I'm going to scroll into my memory stick and wait for it to basically pop into a uh, Hatsune Miku. And as showcased here, here is Hatsune Miku in live time. As you see, I have some of my other titles I have in here as well. But what we're going to be focusing on today is just installing Project Diva or just playing it. So I know you probably don't hear any sound. I'm just not going to play any sound due to uh, copyright issues, especially this is a music game and probably all of the rights to its, um, you know, rightful music owners own a lot of this music. So that's why I'm not going to be playing any audio, but I am going to show you that this patch does work. So I showcase it on the screen. Um, you could already tell some of this stuff is already in English. So I'm just going to actually skip through this step but yeah normally um if you notice this game if you ever played it um you wouldn't even see that this text will be um english as of right now and you could just tell that um you see the co station slash a uh, night cell has made this patch so all you would have to do is hit circle on this and then as showcased here you see that the game is already in english via with the main menu i'm just going to start a new game since i have no data for this um and then right here it's just you know telling you some things in terms of like save data and stuff like that i really don't um to care too much about the save data since i have nothing to import so i'm just going to go ahead and hit yes in terms of canceling my import data and i'm just going to go ahead and hit yes on this option list all right let me hit circle for next i'm keep getting my buttons um mixed up since this game circle is x and x is a uh, circle but as showcased here um the game is now running perfectly into um you know it's english format so i'm just waiting for it to do its thing i wish i could show you the music i just don't want to take a risk of you know this being flagged on youtube and getting demonetized so but yeah as showcased here you can see all of the menu options are now in english i'm just gonna go into um like just some certain things on this just to showcase um that things are working well so yeah there is some the free gameplay of Hatsune Miku I'm just going to choose this random song right here and then just play that but yeah that's essentially how you successfully patch um Hatsune Miku Project Diva Extend on your PlayStation Vita or PSP and now you can play this game into English, which is uh, pretty cool. If you guys did enjoy this video, please be sure to leave a like and then comment down below. With that being said, my name is Nagato and I'm signing out. Thank you guys for watching.